Hello, this is Brother Joseph. I wanted to talk to you today about um, the article I wrote about um, the war in the Middle East. I, mean, I was mainly covering uh, um, Israel. <clears throat> and um, I used it as an example of a country that is, though being attacked, is deep in sin. It's like many of the nations of the West um, under the UN. They've all consented to many of the same sins. Um, <clears throat> you have um, sin of sodomy, the, the very sin that uh, Jesus said, as in the days of Lot, it will be so in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. A sin of abortion, I, I attribute that to the days of Noah. When you research the days of Noah, you, you find some great evils that were talked about that were going on. Um, even transhumanism, I would attribute that to the days of Noah. Um, I think that fits. Speculation, but I think it fits. Um, regardless, we have these sins that are here. Um, and the pattern throughout the scriptures is that God allows evil things to happen. <clears throat> it's like the he has a shield that's up. He allows the shield to come down. You continue going in the way of sin. Or maybe like to a parent who keeps telling the kid, don't play with fire, don't play with fire, don't play with fire. And then allows for a burning, uh, like a, a burn to happen. It, to let that person know, that kid know, you shouldn't be touching the fire, you shouldn't be playing with the fire, because something even more serious will happen. I think those are good examples um, of the pattern we see in Scripture with God. When He warns and warns and warns, don't play with sin, don't play with sin, get out of the sin. And that's what's happening in the West. And that's the way we should take, um, that's the way Israel should take this attack from Hamas. Not that Hamas is good. Babylon wasn't good when it attacked the Judah in the day of Jeremiah. I used that example in the article. <coughs> so, um, so yeah, I think, I think we need to lead with that still. What we need in the West is a, a procession of repentance, a call to repent. That's what I've been doing. I've been calling out our sins obsessively because that's what the prophets did, that's what the saints did. Um, that's what we're called to do. If you love someone, you call them out of their sin. You know, um, if you truly care, you will want that person not to play with sin, with the fire, or play in traffic. You want them to repent. <coughs> Excuse me. To get right with God. Um, and so that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to do. And um, that's what we need to see this thing as. And as much as we need to defend ourselves from being terrorized and destroyed. Uh, I'm definitely not shaming that at all. Every nation has that sovereign right. But truly, we need to we need to turn to God in repentance. Let's lead with that. And thanks and as always, God bless.